What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Bearded Gentleman. It's been a little while. I think like a month or so. Maybe a little more. Um, so to start off this video, I wanted to uh, apologize because I know in that last one I said I was going to try and make a video every two weeks. So, here we are a month, almost two months later probably, making our next video. So, today's smoke is out of this vent, Dr. Graybo. This was my grandfather's pipe that got handed down to me. And in that Sutliff SPS2 whiskey. So since my last video, a lot has transpired. And I kind of want to touch on a few uh, key things. Things that I think are, are key things to note. I'm also drinking some coffee this morning. A little wake me up. So, the reason I haven't made a video in a little while is the springtime uh, where I work is just incredibly busy. So the springtime is where I get most of my overtime uh, for the year and something else happened at work that we'll get into that has made it a little more busy. So the first thing I want to go over since the last time I made a video, um, if y'all are in the cigar smoking community also, you probably already know this, but... Bradley Wreath from Zeal Cigars uh, died in a motorcycle crash. Um, I haven't looked at too many of the details. It sounds like he, the person that hit him just didn't even see him. Um, he got hit by another car at an intersection and ultimately uh, passed from his injuries. So when I learned of that, I was just going through YouTube um, and I found a, a, a podcast that he did um, titled, you know, How Men, I think the title was something along the lines of How Men Should Deal With Death. Um, I thought it was a really good podcast and the podcast he said you know if he if he died on his motorcycle he went out with a full heart so um, that was like two days before the incident so w once I heard that news learned that news uh, I went over to Zeal Cigars and I picked up a cigar and a few ounces of their uh, pipe tobacco that they just released, so uh, I'll be smoking that in the near future, probably. A couple weeks later um, was his funeral service. That is actually, if if you knew Bradley and you kind of want to watch it, um, it's actually on YouTube. Zeal Cigars, I believe, put it up, and uh, it's about two hours long, but. If you wanted to watch it, you could. So, Bradley Reith, 
he had quite the personality on camera. So I can only imagine he had the same, if not more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Outgoing personality in real life. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I've watched Bradley on YouTube for at least like, probably if I had to guess, seven, eight years. Zeal Cigars is still um, doing their cigar reviews and their videos. So, uh, in, in their videos, they have a picture of Brad on the wall behind him uh, with his hat that he, he always wore. So, about a day after that, I get back on YouTube. After I, I learn about Bradley Reese's death, I get back on YouTube, and another Bradley on YouTube uh, is also going through a tough time. That's uh, your good friend Bradley over at Stuff and Things. I'm not going to spread the man's business, but he made a video about it. So if you want to uh, have an idea of what he's going through, you can head over to Stuff and Things and there, there's a video. He, he explains it. Um, since, you know, he, he let us know what he's going through. He has posted videos since. They're not the same quality. Um, I hope that doesn't deter people from watching his stuff because his content's uh, pretty good in my opinion. So it comes in threes, right? Three, three. Uh, usually it's three deaths. Usually it's, it's three marriages. It, it comes in threes, is what they say. But uh, I just gave you two parcels of. I think what would qualify as bad news. Uh, and I have one more thing I want to touch on, but it's actually some good news. So, probably about a, a week and a half after, uh, you know, I heard about Bradley Reese's death and I saw uh, stuff and things was going through some stuff. I got news at work that uh, I got a promotion. So, at the beginning of the video, I said the springtime's always a, a headache. You know, that's where I get most of my overtime, stay busy. Um, so, this is part of the reason I haven't made any videos uh, as of late. But, uh, you know, it's been a little bit stressful trying to uh, learn this new spot I got and also work all the overtime that I have to work and uh, go in on the days I normally have work. The videos just haven't uh, haven't been in the forefront of my mind uh, as of recently. But I wanted to make this video, catch up with y'all a little bit, let you know what, you know, it's kind of been going on in my life, in my mind. Um, I think there's something I'm going to do at the end of each video, try something new. Um, and that's kind of like, uh, put a quote in there. Um, sometimes I might just read a quote, uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to play it off of TikTok. It's a video, uh, of a graduation. I'm assuming this is the valedictorian speaking. But I heard this quote the other day and I was just like, damn, it's a mindset. So I'm going to see if I can hold it up relatively close to this microphone so it picks it up. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll see what I have to do to kind of overlay it. Uh, what I have to do to overlay it in this situation. So 
Uh, here is my mom. Here is that quote. My mom told me this: Hate has four letters, but so does love. Enemies has seven letters, but so does friends. Lying has five letters, but so does truth. Failure has seven letters, but so does success. Cry has three letters, but so does joy. And negativity has ten letters, but so does positivity. You always have a choice, so choose a better side of it. Right. So I heard that, and I was, you know, I just thought about it for a second that we can be grumpy and cranky and not want to talk to anybody and not want to be around anybody. And be to ourselves, right? But we're choosing to do that. We can choose to beat somebody down, we can choose to pick them up. All of those words had the same number of letters. Sit there and spell them out if you want. All had the same number of letters. It's just which one do you want to choose? You want to hate people? You want to love people? You want to be positive? You want to be negative? It's up to you. But that's all I got for this video. <clears throat> I'm hoping I can get to that point where I can make a video once every two weeks. Um, we'll keep working on it. I'll keep talking to y'all. I'll keep being in your comment sections. But until next time, I am the Bearded Gentleman. Stay blessed.